Today I will show you my editing workflow on how to achieve epic and cinematic results with the DLogM picture profile. From a raw DLogM drone clip, to color correction and color grading, a dolly zoom, some masking and fog, you will learn how to take your drone videos to the next level with just a few clicks and simple techniques. 4 steps, no LUTs, starting from zero, let's go! You will never get professional results without the perfect foundation in the first place. To make everything that follows next even work, we need a solid color correction. If you are looking on the Lumetri panel, you see that the DLogM image is pretty compressed. By spreading out your chart with a proper color correction, you bring back the contrast, you bring back the colors and you actually bring back life to your image. In this video, I won't dive too deep into all the details. So if this is too fast for you, you are invited to watch all my step-by-step -step tutorials on my channel. If the color correction is done, I can move to the Curves tab. Here I am able to increase or decrease specific colors to my likings. Remove some of the blue, add some red and orange, push the green tones a little bit, push the water. Just play around till you are happy with the result. If this is done, I create two adjustment layers and split my image where I mask out the highlight and the shadow area separately. This way I am able to apply corrections to the masked out parts individually without affecting the whole image. Cool, right? You should never go too wild with your edits. Try to stay realistic and natural. Subtle and small changes can already make all the difference. When the masking process is done, you could already get away with a good looking drone clip. But since we have a forward movement in this shot, our mask needs to be tracked. That's why we set keyframes on the mask path so that the mask follows the forward movement of the drone. This process has to be done for either the shadow area and the highlight area. It doesn't have to be perfect, just take yourself a little bit of time. Be as precise as possible. You can always add a feather to the mask afterwards to make it even smoother. If you are done with keyframing our masks for both areas, we can take it even further and add fog for example. Therefore, I downloaded a green screen video from YouTube, threw it above my drone clip and since I just want the fog to cover only the bottom area with the mountains in the foreground, I also mask out the fog as precisely as possible. And again, this mask has to be keyframed properly. This is it. The last effect I added is the vertigo or dolly zoom effect. If you are flying towards something, you basically just zoom into your shot. Now you set keyframes at the scale to zoom back out and with your drone flying forward and your zooming out keyframes, you add this iconic vertigo effect, which is also a great way to enhance your drone shots. Since we just zoomed in with the scale, you also have to double check all of the keyframed masks so that everything is in place and correctly. This is it. From this to this, with just a few simple steps. To learn more about drones in general, I highly recommend you to watch the playlist on my channel. Here you will find everything about the best drone settings, cinematic drone movements, color grading and other helpful techniques.